Now we have created the project, we have created its WBSs, we have created the activities under WBS. So we are ready to link our activities. You can see in the Gantt chart here that the project milestones are shown by this rhombus or the diamond sign here. The activities are shown by the green bars. So I have two milestones which is the project start and the other one is project finish. Now I will try to link my activities. I will start with the project start. I can link my activities directly from the Gantt chart or I can use the relationships tab here in the activity details section. It's better to use the relationship tab because it's quite easier. So I'll click on the relationships. Now I will have two windows open here. One is the activities on the predecessor side and other is the activities on the successor side. I will select the activity project start and select its successor. I'll click assign. It will open me as new window with all the activities which I want to assign. So let's say for the project start, I'll assign civil drawings preparation. I'll simply double click on this and it will be added as its predecessor. After I do this, I'll select the civil drawings preparation activity and assign its successor as let's say architectural and then architectural as mechanical for mechanical I'll assign electrical drawings preparation. And let's say after electrical drawings preparation, we start excavation of a project. Then I will highlight the excavation. We'll start concrete foundations. After concrete foundation, we'll start superstructure. Let's say after superstructure, we'll start MEP. After MEP, we start our finish. After we finish, we'll start our testing and commissioning. And after testing, we'll start the final acceptance. And finally, after the final acceptance, the project finish. Once I have linked my all my activities, I'll go to this option here, project schedule. I will schedule the project in order to understand or know the total duration of my project. I'll click the schedule button and click schedule. Once I have clicked schedule, you can see the original duration of my total project, it says is 124 days. Please remember that this is 124 working days. It doesn't include the non-working days. Now, as you can see here, my project has a start, it has an end and all the activities are in red, which means that all my activities are critical. One more thing to note here is that once we create the relationships, the default relationship type which is created is finished to start. For example, if I select this project start and I go to its successor, you will see here the relationship type is finished to start. I can change this type of relationship to any other type. Let's say for example, I want my civil drawings and my architectural drawings to start at the same time. So I will select the civil drawings preparation and then go to the relationships here and change the relationship type to start to start. Once I have selected the start to start, I need to schedule my project again. And now once I schedule my project again, you can see here the two activities, civil drawings preparation and architectural drawings preparation start at the same time. I can also add leads or lags to the project activities. Leads or lags is the overlap between the activity, the positive overlap or the negative overlap between the activities. Let's say for example, for excavation and for my construction of concrete foundations, I don't want to wait full 10 days then start concrete con uh, foundations. Let's say I want to start the construction of concrete foundations just after six days of excavation. So what I need to do is that I will highlight this activity excavation. Then I will go to the option here on its successor side and select lag. Let's say I put a lag of minus four days, which means that my successor activity construction of concrete foundations will actually start four days before the finish of the excavation. Once I select it, remember to schedule your project always. So I have scheduled my project again and it shows me here the overlap between the two activities. Similarly, if I want my MEP works and my finishes to have an overlap, I can just add, let's say I don't want to wait full 20 days. I will just say that my finishes work should start eight days before the completion of MEP works. I'll put a lag of minus eight days and then schedule my project again. You can see that I have introduced lags in my project and my duration has reduced from 124 days to 94 days only. So in this way, now you know how to create logic relationships between various activities. In our next lecture, we will see how to look at the critical path of the project.